Good morning, Zanesville High School. Student reminders. Congratulations to Katie Anderson for being selected as the Buckeye Girls State Representative for Zanesville High School. Katie will have the opportunity to actively participate in a democratic form of government. Buckeye Girls State will be held on the campus of the University of Mount Union in June. Congratulations, Katie. Today is the last day of Earth Week. We encourage you to think about the effect your choices have on the environment today and every day. We as humans cause climate change. Let's be the generation that saves our planet for our children and grandchildren. 2014 will go down as the warmest year around the globe in recorded history. 2015 was the hottest year since climate records began. Figures show this July was the single hottest month in recorded history. Australia sweltered through its hottest spring on record. The phenomenon was a short-term trigger to a long-term global warming caused by human activity. Climate change is now affecting every country on every continent. It's the rate that's of great concern. And what do you itself. put that rate down to? Oh, it's human activity. I think it's ridiculous. We have bigger problems right now, and it'll get cooler, it'll get warmer. It's called weather. I do not believe that human activity is causing these dramatic changes to our climate the way these scientists are portraying. 1.2 million people died because of the pollution put up into the air. This is a result of climate change. It's right. only going to get worse. This is a big problem, and it's not going to it go is. away. The debate is over. Climate change is real. It is already causing major problems. And if we do not act boldly and decisively, a bad situation will become worse. As a UN messenger of peace, I have traveled all over the world for the last two years documenting how this crisis is changing the natural balance of our planet. I have seen cities like Beijing choked by industrial pollution, ancient boreal forests in Canada that have been clear-cut and rainforests in Indonesia that have been incinerated. In India, I met farmers whose crops have been literally washed away by historic flooding. In America, I have witnessed unprecedented droughts in California and sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. All that I have seen and learned on my journey has absolutely terrified me. There is no doubt in the world scientific community that this is a direct result of human activity and the effects of climate change will become astronomically worse in the future. Our planet cannot be saved unless we leave fossil fuels in the ground where they belong. Now think about the shame that each of us will carry when our children and grandchildren look back and realize that we had the means of stopping this devastation but simply lack the political will to do so. Yes, we have achieved the Paris Agreement. More countries have come together here to sign this agreement today than for any other cause in the history of humankind, and that is reason for hope. But unfortunately, the evidence shows us that it will not be enough. A massive change is required right now, one that leads to a new collective consciousness, a new collective evolution of the human race, inspired and enabled by a sense of urgency from all of you. We can congratulate each other today, but it will mean absolutely nothing if you return to your countries and fail to push beyond the promises of this historic agreement. Now is the time for bold, unprecedented action. It is time to declare no more talk, no more excuses, no more 10-year studies, no more allowing the fossil fuel companies to manipulate and dictate the science and policies that affect our future. The world is now watching. You will either be lauded by future generations or vilified by them. You are the last best hope of Earth. We ask you to protect it. Or we and all living things we cherish our history. Juniors and seniors, if you are planning to bring a date to our prom and that date is from another school or has already graduated, please stop by the office to pick up a guest permission form. This form must be completed before purchasing tickets, and it must be signed by your date's principal as well as our principal. So don't wait until last minute. Get your date approved today. Seniors, it's time to sign up for our annual senior trip. This year, we are going to our favorite destination, Wheeling Park. The cost for each senior is only $5. Included in this price is a swimming pool with water slide, putt-putt golf, tennis, paddle boats, and arcade, 
lunch, dinner, and senior games. Golf is available at an additional cost. To attend, please bring $5 to Senora Warner by the end of the day, May 3rd. No late sign-ups will be accepted. And for sports, Varsity Baseball is home against Coshocton tonight. Softball is home against Coshocton. JV Baseball will travel to Coshocton. And Boys Tennis is home for a match with Dover at 4.30. Birthdays, Callie Males, Carson Martin, Margaret Matarazzo, Riley Matarazzo, I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, Willard McBride, Owen Miller, and Trace Perez. Happy birthday. And now for your fact of the day. Cornell University scientists have created a functioning guitar the size of a human blood cell. Have a great rest of your day here at Zanesville High School.